Prince Harry has finally declared the US as his homeland. It took him a while, didn't it? Yeah. It's emerged that the Duke of Sussex has amended filings for his company, Travelist, to change his primary residence from the UK to the United States. The Duke and Duchess relocated to Meghan's home state of California in 2020 after stepping back as working royals and quitting Britain. Well, this has surely dashed the rumours that he is planning a return to frontline <laughs> duties amid King Charles's and Kate's battles with cancer. Uh, joining us now is our favourite royal yes. commentator, uh, former BBC royal man, there he is. Michael Cole. <laughs> uh, welcome, as always, uh, Michael. Uh, well, this is it, isn't it? Uh, he has now officially turned his back on Britain. But I wonder how much of this is a sort of slightly desperate move. He's trying to sort of reconfirm his uh, residence in America as mm. the courts there discuss his visa and whether or not he will be allowed to stay. Yeah, good afternoon, Kevin. Good afternoon, Alex. This acknowledges reality. Uh, the prince no longer has a home in the United Kingdom uh, and he lives, for better or for worse, in his hilltop <laughs> fortress with his wife, uh, with his two children, and with his rescue chickens and round-the-clock shifts of burly security men. That is his future. That is where he is now. And uh, it's one more step uh, towards him becoming uh, the Royal Prince of California. You will remember in February, he, in an interview with ABC, he said that he was seriously considering or considering uh, at some length, uh, becoming an American citizen. Uh, now, maybe he won't do that, because that, uh, as Kevin, you will know very well, is a very serious step, because if you take on American citizenship, you are taxed on your worldwide earnings. And the IRS, the Internal Revenue Service, do not mess about. After all, they were the people who put Al Capone in, in prison for tax fraud. Uh, and if he decides to become an American citizen, uh, he stands, because he's a rich boy, uh, to be paying the American government quite a lot of money, which he doesn't at the moment. I've had one or two friends who, for whatever reasons, marriage or, or career reasons, they became American citizens, kept their joint citizenship. And when they came back to Britain, they reverted to being British subjects because they could no longer afford to pay the enormous tax bills that Americans have to pay. So that's the situation for him. Um, we can't have a homeless prince. We cannot have an itinerant prince. So he's now going to be the prince of Montecito. Now, tell us about this company, his Travelist, which is uh, the company that's been filed where it now says he is a, his primary residence is in America. Um, apparently, yeah. he set this up in, what, 2019 to lecture everybody on how they must, I don't know, go to places to help communities and travel sustainably, something he doesn't seem to do much of himself. No, indeed not. Only private jets, as far as I can see. <laughs> this is a, a company to encourage eco-tourism. I'm not sure how active it is, because I think in Companies House uh, accounts, it shows it, it showed a profit of around 50 grand or something like that, sterling. So obviously, it's not trading very effectively if it's trading at all. But at Companies House, you have to declare where you are and the list of directors is made. There we see the lovely pair in, in happier times. There, I think, yes, definitely pregnant with the second child, uh, walking around in their new home of California, playing polo on Sundays, as one does. Uh, I don't think there are many polo grounds down in Watts or Compton, more basketball courts down there, but he was doing a series, as we know, uh, teaching Americans about polo. It must be said that he was an excellent, uh, well, he is an excellent equestrian, and he rides even better than... Uh, his brother Prince William does. So maybe he'll be a brilliant teacher uh, at polo. Maybe we'll take it up. Mm. Prince William, of course, is water polo rather than um, horseback polo. Why don't they just play football or <laughs> rugby like the rest of us, these royals? Uh, let's talk about uh, American Riviera Orchard. Oh, yeah. I'm sure you're gagging to get your oh, cushions. Oh, Michael would have been sent um, to jam, yeah, Josh. Yeah. Surely. Yeah. Were you Surely. among the 50 VIPs who were sent a uh, <laughs> jar of Megan's jam? But the point, my question to you is, uh, or, or I'd like to hear what you think about this, she sent out 50 of these jars of jam. Uh, there seems to be some preposterous claim she actually made them herself. I'm not sure about that, but... That 
that's what they say. Uh, the <laughs> idea was that these VIPs, the people of influence, would all go click and then put on Twitter or X or whatever you call it these days, <laughs> oh, look, I got a jar of Megan's jam, and that soft launches American Riviera Orchard. Now, so far, Michael, only three of the 50 have acknowledged receipt. <laughs> Sounds to me like a lot of influential Americans don't really want to be connected with Megan. Well, I haven't checked the post box to see if my jar's there, but I rather think it won't be. Uh, um, let's explain American Riviera Orchard. American Riviera is that stretch of the coastline where they live around Santa Barbara. It's, in fact, it's not a particularly wonderful coastline. If you go further north up to San Francisco, the Big Sur is very a spectacular co coastline. But anyway, American Riviera Orchard. Um, people over there who know more things about this than I do say that it's a rip-off of other... Uh, lifestyle blogs or Paltrow, whatever they're called. Uh, yeah, that's right. Uh, she, of course, before she became uh, engaged to the prince, she ran uh, a blog called The Tab. Uh, that was nothing to do with a, a, ma a magazine for undergraduates. Michael, that, I'm going to uh, have to correct you. I think it was The Tig. It yeah. was the Tig. Oh, the Tig. The Tig. The and it's, tig. it's named after oh, yeah, a red that was wine, there. wasn't it? I don't know. Tig yeah, well, King uh, yellow, you, wasn't it? Kevin, you, you are absolutely right. And, of course, it's named after a Spanish wine there that's particularly favourite. Michael, I'm going to have to correct right. you, though. I that's think it might be an Italian it. wine. It's an Italian <laughs> wine. You've got to get your facts <laughs> right. I knew you were today. But let's move on. We've got to be right. We've got to be right. Uh, Willi yeah, William, and, uh, uh, William has, has gone for his first, has appeared at his first royal engagement since Kate's cancer diagnosis. Uh, he's uh, been to a food redistribution charity uh, called Surplus to Supper uh, in Sunbury on Thames in West London. Uh, well, good to see him uh, resuming his duties. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. He's been as quite rightly he, he should have been up at Anne Mahall, their house on the on the uh, Sandringham estate, looking after his wife, putting her first, of course, looking after the children during the e Easter holidays. But he's been back at it today, packing up food for needy people. This is apparently recycling or using food that's uh, surplus to other people's requirements. Uh, and obviously doing uh, the, 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 the royal day job and doing it expertly. I mean, he's, he's tall, he's good looking, he speaks so well. He's extremely sincere. He's very, very, very much uh, his mother's uh, yeah. son, uh, very, very Spencer through and through. Uh, and he will, of course, in due course, not too soon, we hope, uh, make a, a remarkably good king. Uh, big programme ahead for, for him. Uh, he never drops the ball. And, of course, we wish him and especially his wife well. We hope her, her recovery is continuing. Problem for him is that he's always going to be asked about her. Uh, he handled it very neatly today, saying that he'd had get well cards for the king and for Kate and wouldn't be drawn on what her present condition is. And wouldn't it be lovely to see her back as she is there interacting with people? Yeah. Always interested. I mean, if you went to uh, Central Casting in Hollywood and asked for a perfect princess, they'd come up with somebody... Uh, somebody yeah. very, very... Yeah, I think they would. I think you're right. Very, I think William is uh, he's very relatable. He's very good with people. Harry used to be that, uh, but since he's uh, opted for his new life, uh, people can't relate to him anymore. No. But William has really got the common touch, and I think that is extremely impressive for someone who was born into such privilege. So, yeah. good for him. Uh, best wishes to Kate and, of course, the King. And uh, yeah, yeah. thank you, uh, Michael thank Cole, for you, another Michael. excellent contribution to our show. Always <laughs> the Royal a Wave. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure.